Hello, and welcome to Platform 6 at Warburhampton Railway Station. We're carrying on today's railway journey visiting two railway stations, which are the following. Shrewsbury, or is it Shrewsbury? Warburhampton. Now, the reason I'm doing these two railway stations is to try and find East Midlands Railway Class 170 Turbo Star 17503, which has been temporarily transferred back to West Midlands Railway, or West Midlands Trade to work services on the West Midlands Railway Network, and I think it's on Shrewsbury to Birmingham at the moment, so that's why we're doing these two railway stations. And these two railway stations, they're also going to be busy ones we're working at well. But before we start our journey, you have not seen part one, it's going to be listed up there in the cards right now, so feel free to get that watch. And if you have watched this one, I welcome on board this service as we start our railway journey today, visiting these two railway stations. Hello there, Simon Trades here. Also, people I call him Simon Trades. Mike, help. Go on, get off. Also, people I call me Simon Trades. I'm a rail enthusiast, and if you like trades like I do, and if you like visiting different railway stations like I do, this is the channel to be. When I look at different railway stations and look at different trades, this is Simon Trades Railway Journeys. And I welcome you to this service. Hampton, we're arriving into Billbrook, arriving to Cosford, and we're seeing Shiftloaf from a viaduct. That's just a few places to mention on the former Great Western Main Line between London Paddington and Birkenhead Head, Woodside. We're now reaching Donington Junction, which took trains to Telford International Rail Freight Park. And to this day, they are storing Class 196 DMUs at the moment here. But this was also the remaining part of the railway line which took you to Stafford, which closed as a through route in 1966. Arriving into Shrewsbury, or Shrewsbury, we do see that Class 170 Turbo Star for East Midlands Railway, 17503. Unfortunately, it's just sitting in Abbey Fourgate sidings, having a sunbathe at the moment. I'm now at Shrewsbury Railway Station. It's Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury. Anyway, let's not get into that debate because we're here to film some units. The Class 170 Turbo Stars for West Midlands Railway and Transport for Wales Diesel Multiple Units. But the one thing that I came for is actually just right behind me now, but unfortunately I can't get to it, is 17503. It's just sitting right there. Close but no cigar. We do actually have a photo on the train that I take but on the arrival into Shrewsbury, which I'm just going to put down on screen now. But that's the reason for the trip to Shrewsbury and Wolverhampton. And I can't get it because it's in the side of the Abbey Fourgate. Also at Shrewsbury, you've got this big London Northwestern Railway Star signal box south of the station. And Shrewsbury Station is the busy station in Shropshire. And it has five platforms, but the platforms were three to seven. Platforms five and six are bay platforms, but Shrewsbury is also complicated. You do get services terminated from crew end, and you do get services terminated at the south end, so it's a bit complicated. But now I'm going to do the station history of Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury, depending which one you call it, and we're also going to do a quick on the signal box as well. So, history of the station, the signal box coming now. 
Shrewsbury Station was built in October 1848 by Thomas May Warning Penson for the Shrewsbury and Chester line. The station was extended between 1889 and 1903. The station became a Grade II listed building in 1969 and also at one point Shrewsbury was actually named Shrewsbury General. Shrewsbury Single Box, also known as Seven Bridge Junction Signal Box, was constructed in 1902 to a large London Northwestern Railway design of 1876. The signal box is three stories high. From 2011, it became the largest mechanical signal box in the world, following the closure of the lever box at Spencer Street in Melbourne, Australia. The signal box is also Grade 2 listed. Behind me at Shrewsbury Station, you've got 17505, Ian's favourite turbo star, and you've got my trade to Burger International here, 158821. But that will be take me to Warhampton, but that doesn't need till 1334. So we'll be jumping on in a second because I've just got one more trade to film, which is on platform 4A just here, which is 158840. Now that's going towards Aberystwyth and Pafwedi on the Cambrian coast. Because that Shrewsbury Station, this used to be the Great Western Bay Line from London Paddington to Birkenhead but you also got trains from London Paddington that went to the Cambrian coast because the Manor class locomotives took the trains over from here towards the Cambrian coast, towards Welshpool, Hunchcliffe, then on to Aberystwyth and Pafwelli. So this was a good Great Western Railway Station. It would be nice to come back in the 50s, 1950s, just to see steam locomotives here. But anyway, we're going to film that train leaving, and then we're going to jump on that one to Wolverhampton. Shrewsbury or Shrewsbury on this Transport for Wales Class 158 diesel multiple unit. And honestly, I do love the Class 158s. I love my Sprinter! En route, we pass through Oakengate Station between Wellington and Telford Central, and we're also passing Cosford Station, which is right next to RAF Cosford. Now, I was hoping that this service would be put onto Platform 3 at Wolverhampton, just to make it easier. But nope. 
they shoved the train on platform 4 instead. So I'm now standing on Wolverhampton high level platform. I'll explain that in a second because there actually used to be a Wolverhampton low level platform but that's now disused railway station which is actually right next door to Wolverhampton train station. Now the low level disused railway station used to be the Great Western Railway Station that took trains from London Paddington towards Shrewsbury and onto Birkenhead, Head like I mentioned at Shrewsbury and also on the Cambrian coast but this one was like the London bit the Scottish railway station or the London Northwestern Railway Station as well. The Wolverhampton Station though actually has six platforms. Now platform one's there but next door to platform one is platform five which is the bay platform. The bay platform you get the terminated services off Warsaw there. Platform two's here, platform three's there and platform four's there. So and platform six is actually up on the north end but that only gets services terminated if they're like towards the end of the day or if anything goes wrong to be honest. But it's a nice station indeed to film and Wolverhampton is like Stafford that I mentioned in the last blog. It's always the bridesmaid but never the bride. But we are focusing on Wolverhampton today. So here's the station history for Wolverhampton station and we're going to carry on filming some more trains. Wolverhampton station opened the 1st of July 1852 by the Birmingham Wolverhampton to Stour Valley Railway. When opened it was named Wolverhampton Queen Street. 1st of June 1885, the station was renamed to Wolverhampton High Level due to the Oxford Worcester Wolverhampton Railway opened the station next door, which became Wolverhampton Low Level. Wolverhampton was rebuilt in the 1960s by Ray Moorcroft as part of the modernisation programme. 7th of May 1973, the station was renamed to Wolverhampton when Wolverhampton Low Level station closed. The station building that we see today started work on 2018 and was opened on the 20th of May 2020.
So I had a good hour at Wolverhampton Railway Station. I did bump into Dispatcher of the Stour, who was on Twitter. And he said, enjoy it. And to be honest, I really enjoyed it. But I'm going on the 1522 shortly to Stafford. And I'm going to change at Stafford to get back to Rouge and Trent Valley. But before I do that, I'm going to film a cross country Super Voyager or Voyager. Yeah, it's a Voyager and a Super Voyager. That's coming in now, which is going to Manchester Piccadilly because I did not get that when I came into Wolverhampton. So it's just coming around the corner now. I'm going to film that. Then I'm going to film my train and go back to Stafford. We're now approaching Stafford and before we arrive at Stafford Railway Station we enjoy the Trent Valley Line at Stafford Trent Valley Junction which you can just see the Trent Valley Line curve into the scene now. So next stop, Stafford Railway Station. So now back at Brutalism Stafford Station and there's one thing that I did forget in the Stafford and Penkridge blog that I did on the previous one is that this is also where the Grand Junction Railway and the Trent Valley Line joined each other at Stafford. I forgot to mention that in the last blog. We're only here to change trains. It's the bridesmaid once again, not the bride, as I mentioned in the last blog. But we're waiting for the 1555 London North Western Railway Service to take us to the Rouge Trent Valley Railway Station. Uh, the Rouge Trent Valley Railway Station, quick change onto the 1620 London North Western Railway 350 on the West Midlands Railway Service to Bury International, then that's the end of the day. So we've just got a couple more trains to film now. So we're going to film our train arriving into Stafford Railway Station, then go down the Trent Valley line. But there's one thing that I do have to mention though. 16 degrees, but it feels like it's a heat wave. It's absolutely warm today. Like this time last year in April, we were in like the first lockdown and it was absolutely like this gorgeous weather indeed, but we had to stay at home. Had to stay at home. But this time though, we're enjoying it, the weather. And enjoying the railway journeys as well. So anyway, my train's coming in now. We're now passing the disused station of Colwich, and this is also the site of Colwich Junction. Now, en route back from Stafford to Rouge Trent Valley, we actually are going slowly through Colwich because there has been a problem at Colwich Junction, which I'll explain now why we're on the train headed to Rouge Looks like we're actually going slowly through Colwich because there was a signal failure apparently at Colwich Junction. But uh, we're on our way to Rouge Trent Valley now, so everything should be fine. 
But at least my train's not till 16.20 off Bruce Street Valley Railway Station, so I can get it. No problem. We're just speeding up now anyway, so we should be there in like less than four minutes. But to be honest though, there's like a 15 minute connection, so it's not really that too bad. I did have something filled at Rouge Town Railway Station but wasn't happy with it so that's why I'm doing it at St James' Street which is the model railway layout and if you want to subscribe to the, that channel the Simon Trades Model Railway Showcase it's going to be in the card up there now Before I start talking about today's events I want to actually say a special hello and thank you for your company on, between Rouge Trent Valley and Rouge Town on the train to Walter's Lad I did chat to him and his family on the way back He's a lovely kid indeed and he's on YouTube. His YouTube name is Walter's Lad. Definitely go subscribe to him. But we went to Shrewsbury from Wolverhampton. No problems at all. Got to Shrewsbury. We did see 17503, the East Midlands Railway livery one. It was in Abbey Fourgate sidings. Because he did peak time morning trains on Birmingham Shrewsbury. So I knew it was going to be on that. Shrewsbury runs but I didn't really expect to see it in Abbey Four Gate sidings. We got the best I could anyway. We, we did see it, but we didn't see it. But also, what I want to talk about at Shrewsbury is, which I did actually mention is, because when I was filming my train arriving on Platform 6 and 7, when it came into Platform 5, the opposite end of Platform 5, pretty like, probably 10 metres from me or something like that. Don't know how far station to station is with two tracks in the middle. But there were two security guards there, they did see me filming and I think they weren't happy. But they also didn't see that I was wearing a lanyard as well, because of my hidden disability. And I think they wanted to have a word with me, but as soon as they saw that, I think they backed off to be honest. I can't tell you the full story what was going through their minds and all that, but that's what I expected a witness when I was at Shrewsbury. But after I left Shrewsbury, we did go to Wolverhampton. We did film at Wolverhampton. I did bump into Dispatcher on the Stour, who's um, on Twitter. And he was asking where I was actually going because he probably would do I would go Coesley, Stafford, Penkridge, or something like that. But I said I was actually doing some filming at Wolverhampton. Because Wolverhampton was always been the bridesmaid, never the bride. And he said, enjoy it. And to be honest, it was more than enjoyable. I actually did enjoy it, to be honest. And I think it was good, about time that Wolverhampton did get a focus in the railway journey other than a changing train. But it has really been good indeed. It has really been a good day. They went to Stafford. Stafford to Bruce Trev Valley. We did have that singling issue, but it was only a few minutes to delay. It wasn't really that much. And they got the 1620 from Bruce Trev Valley to Bruce Town. And then, as I mentioned, on that train, I spoke to Walter's lad during the journey down. It was only like a three minute journey, but it was lovely to meet him him and chat to him. So I think it's going to be about time to almost end this blog but I'm going to put in a teaser because I mentioned in this blog a railway company that we're going to next and all I've got to say is because I'm going after something iconic and that's the clues that I'm going to give for my next railway journey. So if you want to see that feel free to give this a thumbs up or like it or give it a good kick 
click the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel at Simon Trains and also leave a comment down below. I'll be looking forward to hearing your comments. And it has really been a good day. So thank you for watching. Stay safe and I will see you for the next railway journey.